All right, what's up YouTube, it's Jay here. Modern Warfare Season 6 is here. Here's the battle pass, 49 days long. This is a very short season by typical standards in Call of Duty. I mean, even the weekly challenges are only four weeks long, which is crazy. But this season has undoubtedly some of the coolest looking blueprint camos that we've probably ever had with all these new like haunted and horror themed camos. Like this looks incredible. We've got that one, then we've got these other basic ones like this, which are still animated with some kind of like sheen to them. Like this is still really cool looking. This is one of the like not Black Cell, Black Cell skins. Okay, the Black Cell one looks entirely different. What the heck? Just reminder these skins do not transfer over to black ops 6 because these guns do not transfer over to black ops 6 they're doing away with that system here's another cool looking skin i mean this is on the sledgehammer this is another reactive or not reactive but another blueprint we've got another one for the ak sniper rifle the longbow like this is really really tight i need to try these out in combination with the anime camos this one for the hrm9 like what this is sick these are really 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 cool i wish we got more stuff like this than the last few years of cod instead of the final like season of mw3 this is hair all over the gun that is oh oh my god that's disgusting all right so just as i thought if you put this with the anime skin these like special blueprints for the long for the all right so just as i thought if you put one of these blueprints with the anime skin you get this like crazy rgb effect it looks absolutely sick and it keeps the design too they also greatly improve the colors and shine and animation like speed of the orion camo it looks really good i really wish infinity ward took the same level of care that sledgehammer has with their own content but i guess not and then if we want to look at the weapons we've got another cast off based weapon this looks to be like an lmg looks cool it's an lmg it's a cast off lmg apparently and then this other one which i've already unlocked the dtir 3006 is a battle rifle and i think this thing is fully auto but apparently it has literally no recoil once again so let's try this out in the gunsmith really quick Okay, this absolutely is recoil. But I'm sure if you put certain attachments on, it doesn't have any recoil. We've got drive through 24 7 ghost ship. Forty point is back, mutation is back, infected is here as always. I like how we never got any more like war modes, like any more war maps or anything. Also, the challenges are super easy for this week. You get in a, a conversion kit for the cat AMR. I don't know exactly what it does, but these are some pretty easy challenges. And then of course, you know, the store is loaded with brand new items. Black Cell gives you a bunch of crazy stuff, including this freaky ghost skin right here. Here's the Orion skin in all of its glory. And, uh, wait, this map looks sick. Yo, whoa, wait, this actually looks really, really cool. Yeah, Orion glows so much better now in the dark too. Look at that. Wow. This is actually really sick. This is one of the coolest versions of shipment I've ever seen. It's not just like on a boat or a, or in, in like a docking bay or anything. Like it's actually a different version of the map with houses and stuff surrounding it. I don't know why I decided to pull out the sniper rifle. This is not a good time to be sniping probably. I do want to check out that new, uh, battle rifle though. Oh, I missed. Oh, I hit that one. Nice. Oh, all right. So here's the new battle rifle. Let's see how this thing feels. Dude, this thing ADS is quick. You move kind of quick with it too. And I just got destroyed. <laughs> it has the same size as like the RAL MG. It's kind of like a RAL battle rifle. RAL AR, RAL battle rifle. I don't really know what the difference is between a battle rifle and AR. I don't really don't know what the difference is between the two. Damage feels nice. Speed feels really good for the most part. ADS speed's incredible. Okay, dude, wait a minute. Are the spawns on this version of shipment like just bad? The like, shipment always historically has really bad spawns, but they feel way worse on here. Also, I'm gonna pop a double XP token too while we're at it. I've got so many and I hate that none of them are transferring over. Not a single one of your double XP tokens are apparently transferring over to BL6. But apparently if you do it like how you would with Warzone, where you just pop it in Warzone and then switch over to BL6, it'll probably be active. I'm gonna assume that's probably how that'll work if you want to use your double XP tokens. I just don't see why, I don't know. It just seems silly to me that they wouldn't transfer them over. Like I have literally so many. Okay, the spawns on this version of shipment are really, really not good. I don't know what's happening. What is this? I, I don't know what's happening. We're just getting spawn trapped. People are just running right into our spawns. Okay, well, if what one thing will forever be certain, shipment will always be shipment. That's still a really cool version of shipment though. We're getting like five different variants of it this season, which is crazy. And I think the variants are being put in their own map too. Yeah, Vortex Mosh Pit. Okay, so they've got a Vortex Mosh Pit now for all the different variations of maps in the game. That's actually really nice. I don't really have any pr first impressions with this gun because I just got spawn trapped for a solid like 30 seconds straight. Okay, it has a decent number of attachments too. I don't know if anything else comes over from other other guns 30 round mag is the highest so this is really not meant to be a oh wait no 40 round is the highest okay also the camos for this thing are really sick actually like the the regular camos they look sick. what 
This is animated. We've got an animated base camo in the game now. Is this the first ever animated base camo we've ever had in a Call of Duty? Because we've had these like super like vibrant ones like this, but that's the first ever animated one I've seen. This is the new final weapon prestige camo for guns in Modern Warfare 3. Like what? This is insane. This is drive through. This is literally just a horror theme map. <laughs> I doubt there's like a daytime version of this map. So you probably won't see this put in any other like ranked playlist or anything. Since so usually nighttime maps don't make it into ranked play in Call of Duty. Like why would they obviously? Like it's a nighttime map. You don't want to look at nighttime when you're trying to play competitively or whatever. Wait, this is cool. This almost feels like a Treyarch map in a way. Like the way it's like kind of designed, you know? Like it's, it's, it's three laned with a bunch of cool stuff just added in all over the place. Like that rotating uh, merry-go-round is pretty cool. It's the final season and everybody's still way better than me at the game. <laughs> I can't help it, man. I'm sorry. I just don't try hard too hard in this game anymore. We got a new COD coming out in a couple of, in a month, in, in about, yeah, literally a month. Wow. We got a brand new COD coming out in a month. There's no reason for me to like super try hard. There's no recoil, like no visual recoil at all in this gun. That's sick. It does not feel like it has a lot of stopping power though. It kind of feels, uh... I don't want to say like a pea shooter because obviously I haven't played with the gun in like long enough and I haven't gotten enough kills with the gun. What is this? They can just turn it off. I like when they had interaction to maps with Call of Duty. Every game I've played so far has just been a 4v6 and us getting spawn trap. Like, man, come on. You know, I had a homie who once said, it's not really the game's fault in this day and age, it's the players, and I'm partially starting to believe that. There are a lot of issues with Call of Duty, and that's just bad aim on my part. What the fuck is that thing? What is that thing? He's got a clown on his back. Bro, I'll read that ass. It's not a hard hitting gun, but it, its ability to basically have no recoil makes it a beamer. I need to get more attachments put on it, obviously. You know what this kind of reminds me of? In a way, it kind of reminds me of the Maddox. I don't know why. It might be the iron sights. It might be the way the gun kind of feels, but it kind of reminds me of the Maddox a little bit. The Maddox was a bullpup, so it's not like built the same or anything. But visually speaking, it kind of reminds me of it. Movement wise, it kind of reminds me of it, you know? This might become my new favorite gun in the game. I am thinking about doing another video where I do like a full review of Modern Warfare 3, kind of go over everything. Okay, the, the iron sights kind of shift to the sides a little bit. Like when you do anything, it looks a little weird. What is happening? What is happening right now? I did think about making like a full review of MW3, like a full like year review of the game. I think I'm gonna look back on this game kind of fondly because I really enjoyed it for the most part. I didn't really have too many complaints with it, honestly. Like they they took a broken product, which was MW2, literally one of the worst, if not the worst Call of Duty I've ever played in my life. And they turned it around and actually made it one of my personal favorite Call of Duties. I enjoyed this game, man. The seasonal content updates, the constant events, the, there was always something to do in the game, you know? I know that's a very hard thing to keep up with this day and age where you have to basically do every single video Video game like the fortnite model where there needs to be just consistent constant updates to keep people entertained but i think they did a good job if i'm gonna be completely honest i enjoyed this game man servers cheaters and my personal complaints with like all the like celebrity skins and stuff are just a couple of the things i would quote unquote ha uh, had issue with i guess we unlocked the 40 round mag already all right well, let's put it on the same site that everybody and their grandmother uses Ah, uh, nah, nah, that just takes away so much character already. I don't even want to use this. Ah, screw that. Yeah, we're going in iron sights. I feel like everybody uses that site, so I just kind of want to switch it up a bit. This map is weird. It, it's it's cool, like, design-wise, but it just feels like the gunfights are just all over the place. There's, like, no real flow to it. It also doesn't help that it feels like the spawns are kind of, like, really, really bad. I don't know, man. It just it flows really weird. I might just have to go hop back on shipment again or something so I can level this gun up a little bit quicker. That's the one thing I want to discuss, too. BL6 doesn't have any big maps. It has all small to medium-sized maps, which I know is going to appeal to certain audiences and demographics or whatever. But I also hope it doesn't mean like they're only gonna really focus on the shipment style maps because Babylon was a small map. Babylon was a really small map. What was another small map? Scud looked big, but it wasn't actually that big. If we're being completely honest, Skyline was a small map, obviously. Scud really wasn't that big of a map. It just looked big and it flowed kind of weird, but it wasn't really that big. We've got a bunch of new Warzone modes too. We've got Zombie Royale, Hellspawn, we've got Purgatory. I'm obviously gonna make a different video on that. It definitely feels like Warzone content was um, lacking, I wanna say, throughout this game's life cycle for the most part. At least in regards to like the big map. Rebirth got a ton of things, all the smaller maps did, but the big map 
lab didn't really get that many updates. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, um, there really isn't much to say about the season. We didn't even get, like, an event. That's the crazy part. <laughs> My expectations are so used to, like, the Sledgehammer model now. We haven't gotten an event for this particular season. It's actually kind of shocking. Like, we've been getting events with every single seasonal release so far. And it makes sense. I mean, they're, they're pretty much done with this game now. Like, so, but, but it's still weird. Um, it, having it like a season that's somewhat bare bones for once like this would have been a very basic and normal season in modern warfare 2 because this is the exact kind of content that, or seasonal content that infinity war pumps out yep am i two tapping these guys i definitely think this game had the perfect mix of like stupid broken guns with you know decently balanced guns it always felt like every season you got something kind of new and exciting to play around with it evidently it was gonna get nerfed but i Okay, that's enough of that. So anyway, yeah, Modern Warfare 3 Season 6 is here. It's a little, um, not even bare bones, I guess, honestly. It just feels like a regular, regular season. I think Sledgehammer's been going all out every single season, so I'm just kind of used to them having a very uh, explosive and well-built and big season. Seeing something that's a little bit smaller is just a little weird. And it kind of shows how much work they put into this game, in my opinion. Obviously, no game is perfect. I don't think this game was perfect in any regard, but I do think that this is definitely one of the better Call of Duties we've had in a long time. I think the kind to carries is hard but i do think the quality of the game for the most part is actually pretty decent like i really enjoy playing this game throughout the year anyway that's modern warfare 3 season 6 guys let me know what you thought about in the comments down below thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like on it sub to the channel for gaming content if you are new and as always it's been jay i'll see you in the next video have a great day peace